I'm a licensed broker, so napakalala po kanina. Thank you very much for that kind uh, introduction. Uh, you know, I, I'm the one that uh, is, uh, uh, you know, I'm honored uh, to be part or to be your speaker for today. Okay, so let's start. So this is a total change in process. So everything has changed because of what happened uh, last year. So it made a tremendous change in our country. No, not only in our country, but it's global. That's why uh, last year we have experienced this what we call pandemic. Okay, so it's New Year. Um, guys, uh, students of LNL, Happy New Year to everyone. So, uh, actually, it's a happy New Year. Thank you very much. So, uh, now, since this is the beginning of the new decade, no, simula po ito ng uh, taon ng bagong dekada. It's a new decade for all of us. So, it is a question of what? Of uh, make or break. Okay? So, uh, okay. So this year, uh, we all know it's year of the ox. Yeah. So what do you think? Uh, magiging okay ba yung ating year? I think, guys, this year will be, ayan. So on your screen is, yeah. Ano yung sabihin yan? Dahil year of the ox, it's ox. No? The spelling is O-K-S, year of the ox. So all of us will feel okay. So, so that, uh, so, how we can feel okay? So we should come up with the changes or we adapt to changes. Yeah, okay. So, okay, so since we are okay, so lahat po tayo dapat, no, or should not be upset. No? Should not be upset with what happened. Rather, we should what? We should, balik ta rin natin. No? Let's reverse the upset. Let's have a new setup. No? And the thing right now is what? No? The, the thing is that we should not, we should, we need to bounce forward. No? We should not bounce back. No? The term should always be forward. No? Forward looking or visioning of what will be the future awaits for all of us. So this present will, all, uh, will, will, what? will dictate of what we are doing on how we adjust to the environment to the situation okay so it's about it's high time for all of us no uh, especially you the young generation so uh, you are now uh, what uh, belongs to the generation z alam niyo po medyo ako uh, medyo kinakabahan ako pag generation z unlike yung generation x no generation x are the millennials generation z are what no these are people what no that uh, have a changeable mind uh, so you are uh, the hope no according to Rizal you are the hope of the fatherland <laughs> okay so it's high time for all of us the, this new generations to push boundaries to go beyond our what our uh, go beyond our uh, comfort zone so kung ano yung nakasanayan mo ngayon you should what baguhin mo no? so that you can cope up with this change in our environment all right okay so as you go an extra mile in your life i am reminding everyone to what keep on smiling yeah, smile smile a lot smile stronger no uh, i have read one of the hashtag hashtag smile stronger so this helps you know, guys so this help you every day if you keep if you keep on smiling this what help you a lot in your what in your daily daily endeavor kung ano man yung ginagawa nyo kung kayo ay masaya well it gives a lot of energy to all of us okay so you should feel relaxed as we go on this webinar uh, later on you can ask questions so take it easy guys so, uh, take it easy okay so i have made an acronym for nnl so since we are entering a new normal it is now what learning a new living okay so this is now our new standard learning a new living we should what iwanan na natin no? let's escape from the past of what yung mga traditional no? let's make that a lesson for all of us but now it's high time no? it's it is very what uh, 
timely for all of us to learn a new way, a new method no, of living so that uh, we can prosper no, our life. Okay, so this is my 2021 vision protocol, ladies and gentlemen. So, ano ba yung vision protocol? Ano yung agenda natin? No? Since uh, there's a lot of change, marami po ang nagbago na since, uh, since uh, pandemic time, actually nasa pandemic pa rin naman tayo ngayon, uh, we did do what? Ayan, as you can see on your screen, this is my agenda to all of you guys, no? adjust. If uh, you want to change, you should adjust from one system to another system from one information to a bigger information, okay? So you need to adjust so that you are aligned to what is happening. So pag hindi ka nag-adjust, you know guys, uh, especially you young generations, uh, you will become the future managers, the future uh, CEO. You will be left behind. You will, be, you will find yourself alone. So what do you think? What do you think is this, uh, adjust agenda. So number one, in order for you to adjust, to change, number one, you should have this one, agility, okay? So um, you should be agile. Later on, we will discuss this. And what else? You should be digital. There should be digi the presence of digital because this is now the new era. No? We are now entering into what? The, uh, the next industrial revolution. Later on, we just discuss more on digital transformation. And what else? J starts for joining. Okay, so joining. And then uh, U starts for uniqueness. And then S starts uh, stands for survival and tune up. So guys, uh, uh, students, Gentlemen and ladies, so this is now my agenda for today. Agility, digital, joining, uniqueness, survival, and be tuned up. All right? So, uh, welcome. So, uh, we are now in the new normal, guys. So, nabi feel ni ba na we are in the new normal? I hope everyone is coping up. So, are you ready? Are you ready, guys? So, if you're ready, uh, according to Buddha, when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. Um, I hope everyone is, uh, should open their minds to the better understanding of uh, what is what, what is uh, going, uh, what is happening around the world. All right. So if you're ready, my question is that are you happy? Are you happy uh, students of L&N? I hope you are happy. Okay, do you know this guys? Before we move on to the, our agenda, let me give you a habang introduction. No? This is a long introduction. According to Charlie Chaplin, no? Charlie Chaplin was a comic actor, no? Com comedian. According to him, I, I always like walking in the rain so no one can see me crying. Okay, so because he was a comedian or a comic actor, he wants to maintain uh, his integrity in the market. Siyempre, comedian ka, kailangan. Lagi kang masaya. You are a comedian, you should what? You should have the image or the brand of that is what happy. So, so, so uh, according to him, uh, he likes walking in the rain. So no one can see him cry. Alright, so, so what's the lesson? What's the lesson? The lesson is if you are crying, so wait for the rain. So job only. So what I mean is that uh, it is very important. You know, it's very important to all of us to maintain our integrity, our brand, our image in the market, or most specifically in your school. All right. Let me share you a, a story. Uh, actually, this is an experiment. An experiment is that uh, the first is that. The, uh, you get you get a frog and then uh, you boil a water. You get a frog and you boil a water. When the water is boiling, so put the frog on the boiling water. 
So what do you think students will happen? So the frog will what? Will jump. No, it will not walk. Yeah, it will not, it will jump, it will not walk. Uh, frog is not walking. Frog is jumping. It will jump because the presence of heat. It is boiling. Okay? The second experiment, guys, is what? The second experiment is that you get the frog that jumps out from the boiling water and then you what? You uh, you make the frog relax. So, galing siya sa mainit na tubig. So, pag relax mo muna, na-stress. Eh. Okay, so, after that, you get you get the pan and then put a water. So, do not, do not boil it first. So, the water is cold. Right? So, if the water is cold, then you put up the frog there. So, what do you think will happen? So, the frog will definitely swim. Yeah, he will swim and uh, he will like the environment because it is what? Uh, it is cold then. Oh yeah, it is cold. No? He will make a freestyle, a backstroke, a backstroke. Yeah, all the styles in swimming. Okay, so that will win you the frog. And then what? Maybe the frog will see no? because of the environment. Then after a while, you put a fire on it slowly. So what do you think the frog will do? The frog, do you think the frog will jump? No. The frog will swim. The frog will be adapting to the environment. Alright? So then you put what? Medyo nakasan mo yung fire? You put that fire, then the, the water will what? Start boiling. So what happened to the frog? The frog will what? He will not jump, but uh, since the frog is immune, the frog may immune your frog to on sa tubig, so he will keep swimming. Oh, I like this. This is a warm water. It's boiling. Oh, until such time, the frog will die. No, the the frog will be boiled. Okay. So what's the lesson, guys? So the lesson of this story is that uh, that the, the heat is the crisis. All of us, if we are not prepared. Pag dumating ang sitwasyon o pag dumating ang crisis, napapasok tayo. No? We are what? Uh, we are been... Uh, when when, when, when uh, heat struck us, the, the normal reaction is we, we what? We come out of it. But if we are prepared for that crisis, we make ourselves prepared. So, we stay for that and we face the challenge, all right? So, most of us, uh, during last year, 2021, um, there is unprecedented situation. But many of us or many of the people, what, starts complaining. Did you, did you observe that uh, in, my, in my area, in, here in Laguna? Many, I have observed, many are complaining because the situation is very unprecedented. Bigla na lang. So marami ang nagreklamo. Hindi nakapaghanda. They are not prepared. So what they, what what happened to them? No? So complain there. There's objection. So many feel stress of that what happened. So so let's remember in any situation uh, we should be prepared. No? We, should, we should be what? Preparing for the future. So do it in your present, okay? So, so this pandemic, ladies and gentlemen, give us all the signs. You know? I have the acronym. Because of pandemic, let's be thankful. You know? Many of us, I think, will think, uh, oh, oh, sorry, uh, pandemic is what? Pandemic is bad for all of us. Why? Because uh, our livelihood, our schools, uh, we have. Uh, no income, something like that, no? But, you know, guys, uh, in business, or uh, do you know that in uh, in Chinese, if you wrote the word crisis, the equivalent of that is opportunity. So whenever there is a problem, whenever there is a situation, always think that on the other side, there is 
a lot of opportunity. So what is this sir, sign? What ano ba yung ano ba yung mga sign ng pandemic? So you know, let's be thankful because pandemic what? Pandemic speed up changes. Napabilis ang pagbabago. Speed up changes. So kung hindi nagkaroon ng pandemic, hindi sana tayo ngayon nag-online meeting with the Google. Uh, there is no like this, Zoom meeting, Google meeting. No. Because of pandemic, there is an abrupt change in the system. Uh, you look around you. No? There's a lot of changes. We elevate interest. Because of pandemic, all of us becomes entrepreneur. Our interest was shifted so that we can what? Maintain or sustain our livelihood. So, innovate interest. And what else? Pandemic is what? It's a game changer. Many businesses change their methods, change their system, change their protocol. Okay? And because of that, there is a need for urgency. Okay? So, let's be thankful. Because pandemic give us a sign to speed up change, innovate, interest, game changer, and because of this, there is a need for urgency to cope up with this change. So, are you getting this? I hope everyone is uh, uh, a little bit learning from what happened in the past or past. Okay, so, sir, what's, what's the new standard, you know? I have discovered uh, an acronym so that we can easily remember the things uh, that is the new standard for this 2021 and beyond. So all you need to do is to follow this. No? Number one, this is, I have an acronym of wide SMS. Malawakang text, short messages, system. Okay, so madali maintindihan it's easily to remember the new standard number one standard is don't forget to walk, to wash no? always wash your hands so that you are clean no? you uh, get away with this what with, with this with this uh, viruses okay and then you should do what no you should you should improve your immune system no? you should improve your immune system so that you can save what not only save yourself no but save your family as well all right so and what else no this is now the new standards right now i uh, i don't know if uh, everyone is uh, doing this no? distancing physical distancing uh, uh, it's not social distancing but it's physical distancing okay then uh, you need to exercise so, uh, you need to exercise so that you will be fit okay you will, uh, you will be healthy Right? What else? As I said a while ago, because of pandemic, you have seen a lot of signs in different institutions, in your schools, in churches, in businesses, in banks, manufacturing companies, all of that. No? You, have, you have observed or you have seen many signs because uh, this one way of making what? No? Doing things without what? Uh, without uh, any um, presence. No? of uh, personnel. And what else? No, The use of mask. No? Uh, if you are outside, if you are in the community, this is now the law. No? Sabi nga, para may batas, kailangan sundin. Okay? We should follow it. So, the minimum protocol is the mask and sanitation. Okay? Uh, let, let me uh, reiterate. So, this is the mask. So, this is now the law. And what else? We always sanitize. Have with you your what? Uh, sanitation kit, no? alcohol, and uh, distancing, guys, is very important. And what do you see on your screen? This is uh, yeah, a penguin. Thank you very much, Mark Jim, for that answer. This is a penguin. And as you can see on your screen, a penguin is in line. So this is my observation, you always fall in line. Ito po ang new normal ngayon. Pag po lumabas ka um, sa, mga, sa mga establishment, what we will see is the longest line ever. No? Because they are, they are what? Preventing, no? Preventing the, what? Uh, 
Uh, yeah. The, yeah, the virus. Thank you. Okay, so. Uh, uh, Alright, so. Uh, this is now the standards. Okay, so. What I observed last year is that everyone is getting fat. Uh, look at your. Uh, uh, look at your friends, your colleagues. Tignan nyo nga yung katabi nyo, lumapad ba? Getting fat. Everybody is getting fat. This is what I observed. No? So, fat. What is fat? No, everybody. Uh, because of pandemic, ito po ang nangyari. This is what happened. There is now the presence of fear. Marami po ang natakot. Marami ang feel anxiety. And terrified. Many of us, because of this pandemic, we feel, we fear, we feel anxiety, and we are terrified. Marami po sa atin nang nag-alala, paano na ang kabuhayan namin. Uh, what, will be, what will be the next? What will, go, will be going to happen to our family? Yeah, ito po ang naramdaman natin. But don't you worry. There is an antidote of fear. Meron daw pong gamot dyan. No? There is an antidote of fear, anxiety, and being terrified. Alright? So, ano yun? No? Pag ikaw ay mataba, or you are fat, you need to work out. If, 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 you, are, if you are going to work out, you need what? What do you need? What are the things that do you need? What are the equipment that you need? No? The acronym is, as you can see on your screen, the acronym is Barbell. Yeah, Barbell, yan po ang kailangan mo pag mag-workout ka. That's what you need when you work out. So, and this is also the antidote of being fear, having fear, having the anxiety, and being terrified. Alright. So, number one is, you got to believe. You got to believe that uh, you are fear. Kailangan maniwala ka. The, at the end of the line, at the, at, the, at the bottom, at the end of that, no, you, have, you have something for you. You believe in your purpose. Maniwala ka kung anong purpose mo sa buhay. Ano ba purpose ko? Why I am here? Why am I am in LNL? What is my purpose? No? Number one is that you got to believe to your purpose. The purpose of your existence. Why you exist, right? So you got to believe, so that you can eliminate the fear, eradicate the fear, and also you have something to achieve. As a student, you need something to look at, long term or short term, so that this anxiety, being terrified, but kamerong kang gusto ma achieve, you will be focusing on that. Oh? You should be, have, or have something to achieve in your life. And what else? You should be ready to receive. To receive or to accept things what are, what are, what are happening. So, many of us, so marami sa atin, the blessing is there. But, no, you know, uh, andyan na yung blessing, pero hindi ready tanggapin yung blessing. So, so guys, we should be ready to receive the God's grace and the blessings. And lastly, this is very important to all of us, even you students, no? you should balance your energy level. So, uh, what, what, what do you mean by this? No? So, in order for you to eliminate the fear, anxiety, and being terrified, you should what? You should maximize your energy. You should, uh, you should do or you should uh, use your energy to those things that is worth or that is something that can give you a positive result in your life. Ang problema sa atin, kung saan saan natin ginagamit yung energy natin. No? Uh, we are studying, at the end of that, we are we are playing the, what? Mobile legend. We are studying at the end of that, we are watching K-pop. Okay, so we are not balancing our energy. So remember to balance your energy, to give uh, time, or to make use of the time work, so that your energy will not be wasted. So many years from now, or a few years from now, we will be graduating from 
your school uh, and then you will be going out to your different uh, to different businesses you know guys uh, my experience is that the people that balance your energy all you want to when you are going to do is to what to procrastinate uh, to, to to what to uh, uh, to do things that is not what that is not vital or important to your business so guys remember balance your energy level so para hindi ka man na matakot mawala yung pag-aalala mo you're not you do not feel terrified you should remember the barbell you believe you should something to achieve you should be ready to receive and then balance your energy level all right according to this never let your fear decide your future okay so sabi nga ni Manny Pacquiao uh, no fear okay so ladies and gentlemen this is now the new evolution uh, this is now the, the the era the era of mega trends the era of big change in the environment according to Socrates the secret of change is to focus all of your energy not on fighting the old but on building the new that's why a while ago i had said don't be upset but rather build a new setup in order for you to be unstoppable in order for you to be great this year in your school or ano man yung ginagawa mo you should build a new all right so since this is change, there is what? A great what? The metamorphosis. Ano ba yung metamorphosis? This is what we call transformation. So if there is metamorphosis, this, these are some of the examples. I will give you a metaphor on metamorphosis. Alright. Sino ba yung mga nagbabago? Uh, number one is this. As you can see in your board, is the... Uh, what is that? Okay, that is... Yeah. A frog prince. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Mark. Oh, uh, you're very active, Mark. Thank you very much. Okay, so a frog. No? Didn't you know that a frog started from a what? Uh, uh, wala pa siyang paa, no? Wala, uh, there's no uh, uh, feet yet, no? A tadpole. Then later on, on the cycle, he becomes a frog. So there is what? Significant transformation. Okay, what else? A very good example of metamorphosis is the butterfly. Yeah, do you know where where butterfly came from? Came from the cocoon. From the cocoon to the beautiful butterfly. Okay, so there is a stages of change. That's why it is called metamorphosis. And this is what is happening to all of us. No? We are now entering into the new stage in our life. No? So there is what we call the transformation. All right. So and what else? The snake. Uh, sir, nagbabago ba yung snake? Oh, yeah. Nagbabago siya ng skin. Yes. Ang snake. Uh, if the snake changes the skin, um, it's very painful for the snake if he is uh, if the snake is changing the skin it may cause death you know because death for the snake during that cycle so the same with us if there is a change what is the normal reaction to all of us there is what if there is change there is resistance yeah there is pain very good very good there is pain uh, we experience pain but remember, as we experience pains, this serves us our what? Stepping stone. This serves us what? This serves us uh, as a foundation. Because of this pain, we become great. Ang snake, ang ahas, pag nalagpasan niya, nagiging great siya dito. Panibagong buhay para sa kanya. Living new life. Learning new living. Yeah. So this is now the presence of of the great change in our environment, the great metamorphosis. Okay, so this change is very dangerous, masyadong mapanganib, but most exciting. 
makapanganib siya pero excited. So all of us should be very careful. So may pagbabago, we should what? We should prepare or we should do something you know, that will make us align to this change. All right. Okay. So business is buka. Before we move on to agility, ladies and gentlemen, business is buka. What is buka? Buka is a military term used uh, long ago. No? So, ano ba ang ibig sabihin na bakit daw business is buka? Because business is what? They have or it has an uncontrollable environment. No? So, business is volatile, business is uncertain, business is complex, and business is ambiguous. Okay? So, business at student. So, why business is volatile? Ano ba ang volatile sa Tagalog? Pabago, bago. For example, of volatility, prices are fluctuating after a natural disaster. Okay? After this pandemic, prices will go up. Prices in different commodities prices in real estate is starting to go up because of this pandemic because there's a great demand all right so business is volatile and business is uncertain what is uncertain sa tagalog hindi sigurado okay hindi sigurado walang kasiguraduhan why especially last year we don't even know the what unprecedented no unprecedented event no? the the virus the typhoon the taal volcano there's a lot of changes hindi hindi tayo sigurado example of this is what a competitor pending launch muddies the future of business and the market okay and what else complex ano sa tagalog ang complex Complex is komplikado o magulo o hindi maliwanag. So what are the example of this? So for example, you are doing business, you are a multinational business. So therefore, if you are multinational or you are in an international business, um, uh, there is what? There is a uniqueness in some of the laws, so regulation, tariffs, values, cultural values. So you need to what? No, there is what? There is complexity. All right. And what else? Ambiguous. What is what? Ambiguous in Tagalog. Ambiguous is may kalabuan. For example, is you are deciding to move into an emerging market or outside of your core competency. For example, you are doing uh, business like uh, an apparel or what no uh, clothing no do not mix it with for the choice oh, because the, this these are what different segments so business is ambiguous all right so let's move on to our agenda uh, intro mo. okay agility so what is agility what do you think uh, in business or say schools or in anything this new normal should what? This new normal, we should be agile daw. Dapat daw maging agile tayo. So what is agile? No? Agility now is the new normal. And businesses are changing tap to stay relevant. No? They are changing. There is a fast change in their methods and their ways on how to cope up with this new normal. So kailangan po natin dyan yung kailangan agile ka. So what is agility? Okay? Agility is the ability to think, move, and understand quickly. That is agility. That is being agile. You should be fast. You should be fast. No? Or there is the presence of this three S. No? There is the three S in agility. What is the three S, sir? The three S is if you are agile, there is the presence of speed. Stamina and it should be sustaining. 
hindi po pwedeng mabilis ka lang. Oo, hindi po pwedeng mabilis ka lang. In the middle, wala ka na. So dapat, there is the presence of stamina. Dapat na maintain mo. Na you should maintain your uh, your operation. Uh, you should be what? As you implement, you sh it should be sustaining. So you, you should what? You should think or research some strategy, some tactics so that you can maintain the market and sustain the market. Okay? So, guys, very important po ito. No? Uh, this is very important in the business. Yung being agile. If you have something to implement, implement it. Pag hindi mo na implement, that will become irrelevant. So, dapat mabilis ka. Okay? And you should, it should be sustained. Alright? So, that is agility. So, the second, so, yun po yung adjust natin. That is our adjust. A is agility. Then D is what? D is the digital is the new normal. Alright? So, digital. There is what? A digital transformation. All of us, I, uh, I hope everyone is using their cell phone. And uh, siguro wala na dito gumagamit ng Nokia 5110, uh, Nokia 3210. So that is analog. Okay, so... Um, because of this digital transformation, there is what? There is a reset. Na-reset po ang sistema natin. Nagkaroon ng panibagong sistema. So there is a reset or what we call in the computer world, a reboot. Nag-reboot tayo. So that we will go on. We will find the new default. So this is now the new default. The digital transformation. I hope everyone uh, is using what? Using Facebook, Twitter. So, siguro naman, wala nang gumagamit ng friend store. Okay? So, oh, wala na pala friend store. Okay. So, this is now the new default. So, the digital transformation. Okay? So, so, we are now entering into, I think we are now entering into a fourth industrial revolution. Do you know the stages of uh, industrial revolution. So, nandiyan po yung uh, pre-industrial revolution that was largely agrarian and rural. The first industrial revolution uh, happens 18th and 19th century. Uh, this, there is now the presence of steam engine and textile. The second industrial revolution just before the, just before the World War I. Uh, dito na po nagkaroon ng uh, disruptive technological advances, the presence of telephone, light bulbs, phonograph, internal combustion engine. Ito po yung second industrial revolution. The third industrial revolution during 1980s and uh, upward. No? This is now the beginning of digital revolution. No? From analog to digital personal computer. Uh, this is now the birth of computing system, yung third industrial revolution. And now, I think we are entering into the next industrial revolution. And what it is? It is the digital transformation or what we call the robotics or AI. Ano ba yung AI? What is AI? Artificial intelligence or there is now the presence of nanotechnology. So what is nanotechnology? This is nano. Oh, nano sa Tagalog o nano, maliit. Oh, nano. Uh, actually, it sounds like, but you know, nanotechnology, these are what? Some chips, no? This is used in what? Medical. So more, most of this is used in medical uh, uh, facilities. There's a microchip that is what? Uh, used to monitor your system. You can talk about this nanotechnology. There is what? Internet of Things. Do you know IoT? Yeah, it is now in the market. For example, do you have an equipment in your house? A refrigerator? Uh, may, may mga ref na ngayon na may digital sa harap, no? They, they will remind you 
about what? No, if there is what? If there's no egg, they will remind you, they will text you, oh, ma'am sir, there's, there is what? There's limited uh, supply now of eggs, so you need to buy it. That is what we call Internet of, thing, of Things, IoT, all right? So, guys, embrace now the change, no? Uh, you should what, no? This fourth industrial revolution, no? Is uh, what? Is now uh, what we experience. No? The question is that, is your business ready to face the onslaught of this new technology? So now that is now the big question. All right. So letter D stands for digital transformation. And what is important if you are going digital? Data. Sabi dito, data content that will engage customers anytime, anywhere, on the, any device. Pagka ikaw ay digital, if you are, uh, uh, if there's digital transformation, uh, the bigger data you have, the powerful you are in the market. Okay? So, the what, no? It is now in your hands. No? It is now in your gadget that is what? That will give you better result. Okay? And what else? Mixture of digital and physical channels can always send the right best action when it is needed. So, right now, um, you know, uh, especially in our business in real estate, you know, there is there is uh, again you know, the presence of uh, people doing what doing real estate business and what this digital uh, digital or this technology. Okay, so and what else? Multi digital marketing enhances customer loyalty and better customer retention. Okay, if you are efficiently or uh, you have an if, uh, efficiently using uh, in your businesses you know, this new technology, you can maintain or you can have this customer or better customer retention. Ang customer kasi pagka uh, real time ka sumasagot, if you answer the customer real time, so if you if the customer have a great experience in your business. They will not leave. Instead, they will add, or they, they are one. One, they will become an instrument to to add more customer in your businesses. All right. So let me give you an example. No? I, uh, right now, I am in a real estate business. Also, our business is what coping with this what we call change because of. Pandemic. So real estate beyond the pandemic, our new normal world will take time to evolve. Uh, nung tinamaan ng real estate, uh, guys, uh, medyo mahirap ang real estate. Okay? It's very difficult for all, to all of us to cope up with the changes. So new trends are already starting to take shape the real estate industry as we begin to adjust to the post-pandemic environment. And this COVID-19 will undoubtedly change the way we live and work for a foreseeable future. And new trends will emerge that will become part of our new normal. So if these are some of the big impact in real estate sector, the growth of corporate outsourcing. So we, we hire a lot of what? No? It's, 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 uh, we minimize cost no? because uh, uh, in real estate you need to communicate, you need to network. So there's a growth of corporate outsourcing. Rising capital allocations to real estate, rapid urbanization and city building. Because of pandemic, many Filipinos realize that they need something. They need houses. They need uh, improvement in their houses. So rapid urbanization and city building. There is adoption of new technologies and the imperative to build a more sustainable future and to take urgent action to combat climate change. So these are some of the impact sa business namin. Okay? So real estate business. Okay. So next agenda is what? Is joining. So joining is the new normal. Okay? So, uh, so all I can say is that thank you for attending our webinar. So guys, don't be... Uh, uh, 
you should watch. You should be you should be attending more webinars. Especially this is now the new trend. So join and join if, if you can if you see advertisement uh, more about business administration, more about the marketing, more on more on the uh, eight piece in marketing. If it is free, don't hesitate to attend. So attend and attend and attend. <coughs> And excuse me. And you get involved. You get involved. And you should be engaged. Okay. So maki alam ka. So if you will not get involved or you will not engage, sabi ko nga kanina, you will be left behind alone. Because many of us is moving forward. Many of us is getting involved to the new change. All right. So you should be engaged. Okay, next agenda is uniqueness. No? Number one, uh, agility, digital, joining, and now letter U is uniqueness. So uniqueness is the new normal. So is it the new way or the old way? Pag sinabi natin uniqueness, you should be different. In order for you to different, you should invent something that is different. Sabi nga ni Plato, how you will invent, you should find the necessity because necessity is the mother of all invention. Okay? So, if uniqueness is the new normal, it deals more on diversity. If you talk on diversity, guys, uh, we'll talk about more on brand and image. So, if you, if, if you want to be well-known in the market, you should be unique. You should have big, have different brand. Tingnan niyo po, no? During pandemic, uh, sino po ba ang namayag, namayag pag sa market? Those SME. Because all malls, all big companies are locked down. So, ano po ang namayag pag? Those, those product that is unique. Those product that is new in the market. Those product that is have new brand. Okay? Uh, ako nga, Ako nga, during uh, pandemic, I uh, venture into chili sauce. No? I sell chili sauce. Uh, I sell different items. So you should be diverse. Okay? And what else? In order for your brand to stay relevant in the expanding market, you must be doing one crucial, one crucial thing. So what it is, that is embracing diversity. Okay? So in the advent or in the uniqueness, Para maging unique ka, you should what? Also gauge your marketing content. Tingnan mo, no? nasaan na ba ako? Anong level na ba ako sa aking business? Anong level na ba? You should gauge, you should know. So that you will know where or when to improve your product or your brand in the market. Okay? So remember, uniqueness in the market right now, this new normal is very important. Uh, bakit karamihan ng mga milyonaryo? Multi-millionaire. Multi-millionaire. They are what? Very rich because they are unique. They are far apart from uh, from, from one. No? To, to us. They have what? Different or uh, iba. Iba yung kanilang uh, brand. Unique. So very important yung kaya ikaw, you want to excel in your class. You want to be the best in your course, in, in, in the business administration, you should be unique. You should be doing something. Sabi nga ni, sabi nga ni um, Einstein, no? uh, you should be what? No? If you want to achieve a different result, you should be doing also different. No? In saying ka daw, kung you want to achieve different result, but you are doing the same thing. According to Albert Einstein. All right. So you should be focused more on your identity. Ano ba ako ngayon? No? That is what? No? The essence of being unique. Okay. Sabi dito, in order to, to be irreplaceable, one must always be different. Okay? So make a difference. All right. So next is survival. We have last two agenda. So survival is the new normal. So pag, 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 pag pinag-usapan po ang survival, 
ayan po ang laging lumalabas. Sino po yan? Who is this uh, man? This is? Uh, Charles Darwin. Charles Darwin is one of the author of The Theory of Evolution. The Theory of Evolution. Alam niyo ba yung Theory of Evolution? That man came from what? Came from the monkey. Okay. Yeah, thank you very much, Annalyn. Okay, galing to tayo sa ungo. Pero do you believe that we came from the monkey? Um, yeah, thank you. Thank you, monkey. Okay, okay. So, so that is the theory of Charles Darwin. But what is important is the theory of survival. So this is... The theory of Charles Darwin, we can adapt this to our business, uh, the survival of the fittest. Sino lang matitira, no? Sabi niya, adapting to environment changes over time. So, survival, in order for you to survive, we should adapt to change over time. No? Yan po ang tawag sa atin, yan ang hamon sa atin. That is the challenge to all of us to adapt to the new setup. Alright, and what else? Isa po sa mga tsuri niya is the natural selection without the ill-prepared. Okay? Sa ngayon po, if you will not be uh, coping up, kung hindi mo sasabayan ang pagbabago, you will be weeds out. May iiwan. Okay? Customer engagement and customer experience. This is one of the most important in, some, in all businesses. Sa lahat po ng negosyo, maski anuman ang negosyo mo, you should be engaged to your customer. And you should develop a great customer experience. Pagpangit ang, ang, iyong, ang, ang experience ng customer mo sa'yo, hindi ka magsusurvive. Iiwan ka. You will be left by your customer. So dapat, there is a customer engagement and customer experience creation. You should create a great customer experience for you to survive. And what else? Isa sa theory niya is simulation. Ano ba yung simulation? Simulations perform the eat or be eaten function. No? If you will recall your food chain, if you will recall your food web, no? one is eaten by the other. No? That is the ecosystem. Okay? So, we should be what? No? Uh, there is what? Simulation also in business. If you want to stay in track, you should be, you should simulate your business so that you will not be eaten, okay? So, but you know guys, uh, one thing pa is uh, during last year, marami po sa atin ang natakot. No? But you should remember that this virus, natakot tayo kasi may virus. You should remember that this virus now become part of our ecosystem. Naging part na siya ng ating ecosystem. Nandoon na siya sa cycle. All we need to do is to what? Is to equip ourselves. Is to what? Uh, is to... <coughs> prepare no? and should be very careful. No? Maintain our good health, always exercise so that in the ecosystem you are there functioning very well. Okay? So for you to survive, all you need to do is to adapt to change in your ecosystem. Okay? So sabi niya, sabi ni Charles Darwin, it is not the strongest of the species that survive nor the most intelligent, but the one most responsive to change. Okay? So, yan po ang sabi ni Charles Darwin. Okay. So, we now move on to our last uh, agenda, that is tune up. Tune up is the new normal. Why we tune up? Usually, this uh, term is presence sa mga mechanism, sa mga vehicle, no? Bakit ka ba nag-tune up? Para ibalik yung dating performance. To bring back, uh, to bring back and to enhance, no? to enhance the performance, your performance, the performance of the vehicle. You should be tuning up. Okay? Kailangan naka-tune up ka lagi. So, these are marketing tune up. Alright. So, so, as you tune up, what is now the war today? Data now is the new one. It's not the oil. No? Dati ang pinag-aawayan natin lang is. Pero ngayon, ang pinag-aawayan natin is data. The bigger data you have in your system, as I have said, the, big, the, the powerful you are, the 
Okay? So data in the 21st century is like an oil in the 18th century. But dati pinag-aawayan yan. But now, what we are struggling, what we are now looking at, who is what? Looking to or having a bigger data. Okay? If you have the data, it is a matter of what? It is a matter of the context and its content. May data ka nga May data ka nga. Pero you do not possess the right context. Do not, do not possess the right content in your system. So better align that in your data. So tuned to deliver a lifetime value. Okay? And ensures to deliver dynamic customer journeys in the context and cadence of individual customers. Okay? So, pagka maganda ang data mo, if you have the uh, great data, if a great system you have in your uh, business, no? in your schools as well. No? So, there is what? No? Sabi dito, there is a great customer journey or a cadence on individual customer. So, it is what? No? Uh, nakakasabay. No? It's parallel to what the business is doing and to the customer. And what else? Engage in the quest to personalize customer experience that drive revenue. Of course, no? in business, our goal, our objective is to create or drive revenue. To drive revenue, it's what? You it should be more personalized. Dapat medyo close ka. Sabi nga, no, you should uh, what? You should have this intimate no? closeness no? to your customer, to the, to the experience of different customers. Okay? And because of this data, because you are tuned up, it is a key to the smooth functionality of everything. Okay? So, that's why uh, in the course of our business, in the middle of our operation, there come to a point that we will tune up. So that our energy, uh, our performance will go back to the normal to the normal, to the, the performance that can create a better result. Okay. Okay. So, sabi dito, uh, according to my friend, Christopher Columbus, may tokayo. Christopher Columbus, uh, you can never cross the ocean until you have the courage to lose sight from the shore. Okay. And it's been yan. You should be fearful. If you are in business, you should be brave enough face challenges, to face the situation. You should have the courage, because you have courage, ka, brave, ka, fear. Because you have something to deliver, because you have something to take care of too. Meron kang pinapangalagaan. Yung mga customer mo, yung empleyado mo, no, ang eskwelahan, meron pinapangalagaan. Ang mga estudyante, mga magulang, okay? at ang mga buro, most especially. Okay. So, this new era, uh, this new normal, dapat daw you have the effective promotion. Ano ba yung effective promotion? Sa internet, no? Sa business na lang, for example, let me give another example sa real estate. One of our effective promotions so that we'll uh, stay on track is what? No? There is a holiday payment during pandemic, there is uh, deferred payment during pandemic so that uh, not only you are helping people, help, helping the client, but you are staying on track. Okay. So, mahirap pa wala ng business. If you put up the business, make sure that you have something that is effective, especially in Okay. Very important right now is the social networking. So, very important yung ating, uh, very important yung coordination, communication, uh, very important yung expansion the social networking okay. and of course build a virtual office okay. what, what is this no? uh, this is very vital uh, as of now no? especially in some uh, in more businesses pagka meron kang isang uh, virtual office that will cater uh, services of your client nap napapadali ko ang mga the work will become easier for all of us the work will become efficient okay so the work uh, will become also sustainable. Okay, so build a virtual office. Okay, or for example, say school year, you will create uh, a hub no, that contains a lot of information about the system, the policies and procedures, 
that's one way no, of coping up the change in the system or in the change in this era. Okay, so as of now, um, very important yung communication. So, sabi dito, the power to communicate. <coughs> okay, I give you the uh, acronym for communicate. I hope you can uh, add to your uh, uh, communication. So, communication, so the acronym is communicate. It's a culture of mass media utilization and nurturing inner comprehension and adding technological evolution. This is now the new normal for communication. So as you communicate, you, you only need not to communicate, but rather a communication with comprehension. Dapat na iintindihan ka. Hindi lang yung basta lang to communicate ka. So your, the person in front of you should understand you. So, so that is communication. Okay. So, see the new now. So, guys, it's time for you to visualize things. Ano ba ang mangyayari sa akin in the next, in the next decade? So, all you need to do is to visualize. Visualize as if uh, you have done already. So, have your vision with you. Have with you your dreams. If you are uh, a business administration, what will I be when I graduate? Dapat ngayon pa lang nabivisualize yun na. And use the technology. You know, guys, we are always at the mercy of this technology. Okay? So, pag-aralan ng mabuti. So, that later on, you will become one that is what? Uh, that is successful. Uh, that, uh, that, uh, that have something with you, what you have learned in this institution, the LNN. Okay? And what else? What is important right now in this new era, it's not competition, guys, but it's collaboration. So collaboration rather than competition. It's, it's time for all of us to what? To collaborate to each other, to contribute your ideas. Ano ba yung ideas mo? It's time. Yes, thank you very much, Mark Jim. No? Actually, uh, that's one of your mission, vision, I think, no? Uh, when I visit your school a uh, few years ago, uh, when I talked to the founder, uh, he said, Tapat lang the word, S-E-L-P. Your school is very willing to help. Okay, so, so collaboration, it's a matter of helping one another to be always on a proper, on the right direction. A collaboration of ideas, collaboration of information that is very vital to the era, to this, as we enter this one, yeah. this new economy, a contactless economy. No? Na, na, nakikita nyo ba, bihira na yung mga papel, paperless, bihira na rin yung cash, cashless. We are using GCash, no? we are using a lot of application that, that, that does not involve cash. No? If you look outside, there is the field presence, if you look at the transportation, uh, you, you will look, there is now the presence of radio frequency, there is now the easy trip, so wala nang cash. So since we are entering into this uh, economy, so it's, it's better for all of us to collaborate rather than to compete. So nandiyan Mark Jim, yung dinatawag natin na sinasabi mo, help. So thank you. Okay. So life has no control Z, what is that? What is control, control Z in your uh, computer? Control Z means undo. No? Sa buhay natin, walang undo. No? Pag nagawa mo na, nagawa mo na. Tapos na. Diba? So what will be, what, what this uh, phrase means? So in everything that you have do, do your best. No? Do your very best. So that, wala kang pagsisihan. Para hindi ka rin ma-stress, okay? So, uh, life has no undo. So, whatever you gonna do, do it your very best. Because it is what? You cannot reverse it. Just like time, no? Ano nga yung kasabihan? Time is? Yeah, roll. Pero for me, time is? Time is time. No? Time yan, no? Time is time, okay? Thank you, Lauren. Okay, 
So, ano pa, no? Another bucket of advice. Do not compare yourself to others. Huwag uh, kang magkocompare. Huwag mo ikocompare. May stress ka. No? If you have seen others are very intelligent, don't worry. No? Don't worry because look at yourself. No? Focus on yourself. No? Have you seen? Matalino siya, pero wala naman siyang skills. Okay? O kaya nakita mo yung bakit. Yeah, thank you. You have your own. No? Uh, nakita mo yung kaklase mo may sasakyan. Don't you worry. No? Uh, ikaw naman may driver. Di ba? You have your driver. No? Siya wala. No? Pwede ba siyang matulong? No? Sa sasakyan niya pag nagda-drive? No. You, as you travel, you can sleep. No? Okay, so uh, there's something positive thing. So, focus. Be focus not on anybody but focus on yourself. Okay, because uh, you are running your own race. May sarili kang karera ng buhay mo. Lalo na ngayon nasa, pan, nasa bago tayong era. No? Run your own race. Dapat ngayon pa lang you have the goal of being successful. Andiyan ang LNL as your stepping stone to your success. Okay. So, sabi ni Sunsu, the key to everything is preparation. Okay? This is the five piece. Proper preparation prevents poor performance. Okay? So, as you prepare, this year, dapat nag-start na kayo mag-plan. No? Bakit ka nagpa-plan? Para lagi ako nakapunos. Okay? Pag wala kang plano, if you don't have plan, you will not be focused. Kasi you have no plan. So, guys, as the student of business administration, dapat alam nyo to, no? yung plan. So, plan and plan and plan. Okay? Para you stay and track, you stay focus on what you are doing. Ano ba yung gusto ko marating? Dapat ito yung gagawin ko. Alright? So, so, you need to know, no? on proper planning. Yes. Okay? So, where, pagka nasa school ka, paano ka mag-start ng plan? Number one advice, visit your school's mission and vision. That's a starting point. And go on with your plan. Okay. So, you should start strong and finish stronger. Today is uh, January 18. 18 days pa lang ang nakakalipas. So, very young, very young year for all of us. So, the advice is you should start this year strong with the knowledge you have and finish this stronger. Do not start this year strong and then finish wrong. Marami sa atin, they start strong. Pagdating ng kalagitnaan, naliligaw na. Okay? Because, what? Oh, ang dami nilang agenda sa buwan. Okay? So guys, focus, be consistent, and have with you your dreams. Laging bitbit ang pangarap sa buhay. Okay? In order for you to become unstoppable LNL student. Okay? So have with you your dream. Have with you the character that you should have. Ano ba yung character na kailangan bitbitin ko ngayong new normal? In order for you to become unstoppable LNL students. So guys, the message is not about that we are entering the new normal. It is about how we can make this normal better. So maraming salamat po. Change is not the enemy. The challenge is to face the new setup. Ano ba yung new setup? The L and L ways. Learning new living. Okay, so this is my contact. Uh, if you want to collaborate with me in some of the business um, dealings, no? and most specifically real estate, just like my marketing. No? So I also would like to be always collaborating with the school so that I can enhance uh, my knowledge. Also, no? learning is what? No? You always remember this learning is about. Seeing the person in front of you better. Pagka ang tingin mo sa kaharap mo, mas magaling sa'yo, there is learning. 
Pero pag ang tingin mo na mas magaling na doon sa kaharap mo, wala nang learning doon. So learning always is not learning. So always sees the person in front of you better than you so that learning always comes to you. Okay? So thank you very much. Marami pong salamat. Uh, LNL, Lyceum, Northern Luzon. Um, ang alam ko lang po sa Pangasinan ay yung Inaro Taka. Ano ba yung Inaro Taka? Oh, Inaro Taka, when it means um, I love you guys. So thank you very much for having me as your resource speaker. I hope uh, I, I add value to your uh, subject no? that you can use later on. So thank you very much and uh, have a nice day. God bless you all and uh, stay on track. Thank you.